All right, today I want to show you how to get into the online tech PD that's going on right now and goes till May. Um, now, the nice thing about this tech PD is that it's online, so you don't have to go to a course and watch it. You can watch it at your leisure and complete the assignments as you feel fit up until May, or May 31st. So, to get there, first you need to go to your dashboard and you're going to click on this little Google Classroom button. So I click on this, it's going to open up a screen. Now if you haven't used Google Classroom or if you're not in any other classes, you'll probably have a blank area in here. Uh, so what you want to do is there it will be a little plus symbol at the top. Go ahead and click on that and click join class. Uh, now you're going to need to enter the code and the join code is JCGNNX9. So again, JCGNX9. You put that into this screen and then click join and it'll allow you to get into the group. Now once you're in the group, it should look something like this. It might be a little bit different because you won't have the students tab, um, but the rest of it should look pretty close. And right at the top, this first post here, is the directions for this instruction. So basically our goals are to help you to learn how to use technology and integrate it in your classroom so that you can improve the practice that you're already doing and the great teaching that you're already doing. Um, there are some requirements. So first off, you just need to make sure that um, you're reviewing the challenge materials. So there will be text or video um, instructions. Kind of go through those, figure out how to use the tool. Um, and then you're going to create, uh, complete the task where you're creating resources that will be used and you will want to use in your classroom. After you're all done with that task and you've used the tools in your classroom, you're going to go and you're going to complete the PD challenge uh, completion form. In there, it's going to ask some questions. Just answer those um, you know, to the best of your ability. And then at the end, it's also going to ask you to attach uh, an attachment, a file that shows that um, students have used this or it's had uh, you've used it in your class. So it could be a screenshot of something. It could be an example of a student work, something like that you want to attach there. And make sure that you share it with um, anyone in the school district with the link. And that way anybody can see it. And you know um, we've got multiple ITCs that are going to be going through and reviewing these. So you want to make sure that um, they can see it so that they can review it. The next thing is uh, I want to make sure that you know that you can get clock hours. So if you do three or more challenges and you get them completed and checked off, that means completing everything in the challenge and um, you should see a little grade that shows up as a one, then you will, uh, if you do at least three of those, you'll get clock hours for as many courses as you complete. Um, also though, if you complete um, one, two, or three courses, you can get pay for an hour for each of those. So um, up to three, you could get three hours of curriculum pay. Now, um, for example, when you're looking at these, they're all kind of uh, sorted in a similar way. Um, you'll notice that it's got the title of it. To get into the assignment, you could click on there and see more. Um, it's got the objective for you to do. It's got the link to the tool, and then it's got the task. So you want to look through those things and make sure that you're um, aware of, of what is expected of you and what you're trying to get out of it. Now, you can choose any of these that you want. There's a bunch. I think we've got somewhere around 15 or 16. Once you've chosen the ones that you want, you want to also, after you've looked at the different things here you can look at the documents and things that are connected so I'd open up this document review the directions um, and go through it and then I'm going to use this tool with my class as I'm going through and using this with my class, I'm going to also make sure that I get at least one student artifact that shows, hey, I use this with my class. This is how it kind of benefited, those kinds of things. And then I'll click on the challenge completion form, um, and it'll take me to here. And I can put my name in, the challenge I completed, and this is a drop-down box. And then you're going to answer these questions. And at the bottom, you've got the, uh, it says to add, attach a student artifact, and it gives some examples of what that might be. And then click Add File and submit and that way once you've done that it should show that assignment in here as completed and turned in um, and yours will have a little thing that says turn in um, and it'll ask you some questions about it really simple just follow directions kind of go through that um, if you have any questions on any of the summer tech pd stuff uh, or excuse me sumner tech pd stuff uh, that's online let me know um, you can send me an email it's aaron underscore tommen at sumnersd.org like it is up here in the top right hand corner have a good day